Hello there friends, and today I want to show you another new feature from our friend JustBurner, who's really been adding great value to the program with his recent fixes. And this one allows you to filter which brushes you see and so much more. And do stay tuned to the end where I'll tell you how you can get this great new feature. So once you've installed it, simply go to the raster tab and then at the bottom right in the menu, choose to show the search bar. And now you can simply click in the text area and type in what you want to search for. So the name of the brush or the brush pack. So for instance, if I type pencil, I get to see all of the pencils that are available in the My Paint brushes. And then we can simply select one and start drawing with it. Likewise, we could choose to change this to show the chalk brush or the charcoal or even the selection of erasers. And these are really useful because the standard eraser erases all of the ink, but there's also this slightly smudged eraser that kind of erases just part of the ink, which gives a more natural feel to using an eraser. So you might prefer to use that. And the brush names that you search for are the names that are shown when you hover over each of the brushes. So for instance, the large hard eraser there, or this one, is the thin hard eraser. And the names of the brushes are also shown on disk. If you go to the OpenTunes folder, the library folder within that, inside that, the My Paint brushes, and you see a selection of folders for each collection of brushes. And then inside each of these, you'll find the My Paint brushes. So these are the names that you can search for, but you can also search for the actual collections themselves. So for instance, there's the experimental collection of brushes. So if I go back to Open Tunes and start typing experimental, it'll show only the brushes within that folder. So this is a great way to filter down the number of brushes that you can see. And if you find a brush that you like, there's another new feature in this update for pinning a brush to the top of the list. Simply right click on the brush that you like and choose pin to top. And it'll appear in the top of this filtered down list but also, if you clear the search, it'll appear at the top of the main list. So for instance, I use the pencil brush a lot. So I can simply right click on that and choose pin to top. And then without even searching, the pencil brush and the leaf brush are both at the very top of this list. Really, really handy. And if you change your mind about the pin brushes, you can simply right click and choose to unpin it. But this feature isn't just for the My Paint brushes used on the raster and tune raster levels. You can also use it to filter and pin the vector brushes and the textures. So if you're on a vector level, you can go to the vector tab and then simply type in the search bar for one of the brushes here. And two vector fills that I use quite a lot that are shown at the bottom of the top section here are the gradient fills. And you can simply just type in the word gradient and it'll filter down to those two gradients. So you can choose between them, both the linear gradient and the radial gradient. Likewise, you can filter on the textures as well. So if you go into the search box and type paper, I can then choose one of the three paper textures and use that as a fill on a vector level. And again, you can pin these textures to the top if you find your favorite, so that when you clear the search, now the paper texture will be shown first. And I can see this being a real time saver and productivity boost for you, so do give it a go. But how do you get this feature? Well, it's available now in the latest nightly build, available on the OpenTunes download page. So you just download and install that to get it. But before you do install it, don't forget to rename your OpenTunes stuff folder first, and then after installing, copy your projects back into the new stuff folder. And this will give you a full, clean install. And thanks to our lovely supporters on Patreon for your support. With special thanks to Maria and Robert. So I hope that was useful for you. And if you enjoyed it, I know you'll also find this next video useful. And if you've not already watched it, 
here's an older video with tips that I know will definitely help while animating in OpenTunes. And that's a guarantee.